Hello, I'm Mike from MaxSales.com here with Ron from OWC and we have the new MacBook Pro 13 inch. Uh, this is the base model so there's no uh, touch bar and it has two uh, Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports and uh, we're going to be unboxing it and then we're going to open it up take a peek inside. Alright, since this only has two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C uh, ports on it, if you need to connect anything to it, you'll need to use a dock or a dongle or or an adapter of some sort. We have those at MaxSales.com. Simply type in USB-C on search and those options of connectivity will show up for you. Alright, so here we have the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Flip it over. Tells you all the little specs and everything. We won't totally get in that. It is the Space Gray one. Uh, 2 dot gigahertz processor. i5. 8 gig of RAM. And 256 gig SSD. So let's open it. Then they give you a USB-C, pretty long uh, cable for charging. Probably very similar to the MacBook. Probably a two meter, oh, maybe one meter. It's long. And a power cable, or a power adapter. Go with your power cable. Of course, inside the goodie bag. Instructions and my fun, the so stickers. stickers. Right. Fun with stickers. So, if anybody of you opened up a box and didn't peek inside the instruction manual, there's stickers there. Always fun. Now, we get the good stuff. Nice protective uh, screen wrap they always do between the keyboard. And it starts up as soon as you open it. That's new. Uh, that is definitely new. They used to not do that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, you can see the new keyboard they brought over from the, uh, the MacBook and the longer trackpad, the touch trackpad. That's pretty interesting. It started up on, uh, on open though. They used to never do that before. Because we actually want to shut it down so we can flip it over and get inside. Mm -hmm. So we'll set this up. New trackpad's very nice. Uh, what's cool, like the MacBook, um, it's actually not depressing. It just feels like it is through the Taptic response engine. So pretty cool. If you turn it off, you'll see it doesn't click at all. It's really neat. All right, and so now we're ready to hand it off to Ron, and he's going to take it apart, and we'll see what's inside. like the familiar uh, T5. Wait, no. Oh, what's the Penelo P5 screws? There's only six of them. Or on previous ones, I believe there was eight. Maybe. Uh, the bottom cover is proving tough to get off. Ooh. With a sledger of some sort. So. Hmm. Does it maybe have to open from the front? Get that out of the way. Uh, that's a no. That's a broken spudger. All right, so it took us a minute to get it open here. Um, it appears there's clips on the bottom rear and side of the cover. Let's see, did I get that side off? So you have some clips here. And here in the back, 
and one on that side, one on that side. So that's definitely, definitely new. Break everything here, aren't we? So that's your SSD right there. Apple 256. Very nice that it's not soldered in. Okay, so we discovered, of course, that the, the memory's still soldered on, that's no surprise, because that means it's built into the board, non-user upgradable, so we always, always recommend, if you can, buy the MacBook Pro that has the most memory you can get, no matter what, because you'll use it later on. Uh, they're all upgradable to 16, I believe, so just get the 16, it only costs 200 bucks, we recommend it. Uh, the SSD, you're going to have to do pros and cons on that, it isn't the cheapest upgrade, but get, the, get something that's going to make you so you can work correctly on it. Um, future upgrades may be available at some point, uh, or you can plug in through the exterior and add extra storage that way. 256 isn't bad. Um, it can be limiting for some applications, so if you need more, either buy more or just plan on using the external drive type option. And with that, we're going to uh, hand it off to Ron to put it back together. Put it back together. back on the clips. So that took significant force to get it in there, but uh, you got the two center clips there and there. Something there. And side clips. Yep clip on each side, two clips in the center. And that's it. Uh, we look forward to also doing this with the 13 and 15 inch uh, MacBook Pro with the uh, touch bar on it. So we'll see you next time.